Okay, check it out. I've had this for 10 billion years or so. It's a uh, florist wire. It's cloth, cloth covered. And uh, I'm going to do something with it, probably. I am going to get different cutters. I am not using my jewelry cutters on that. I will very likely, because it will probably destroy them. Let me... These are jewelry cutters too, but I don't care about them so much. Oh, that's nice and soft. Okay. Did it dent? It did not. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, so I want to do something a little different for me. Um, I saw something similar to this, but um, I'm going to try and make it my own. So um, this is just some round thing I found on my, on my bench here. So I just want to make a circle. You can see that? Yes, you can. Add it up to here. And use it to make another one. And I think you can see where I'm going with this. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. So, how do I want to connect that? I left this little length because I want to do this. And... Oh, yeah, that works. I don't want to ruin the heart shape here. There, that's cute. And then I'm just going to use this, the rest of this to make the top of it. Well, it works out. Um, it's going to be a big one, so I'm going to make this nice and tight here. So that I have lots and lots of wire. Okay, so that's the beginning of that. Um, you can use any wire you want. I just happened to see this and it was green and it was cute and I've never used it, and you can probably find it really easily, um, probably easier than the jewelry wire, and it's less precious, and blah, blah, blah. Um, do you know, it's not the strongest. That was when you hammer it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hammering does what's called work harden, or hammer harden. I don't know, it hardens the wire. Much stronger, much, much stronger. I'm going to make this more curlier. And I want to put a bunch of paint around it. Um, I just want to wrap them. Are these the colors I want? Yes. Yes. So again, this is a color mix. Super doesn't matter what you choose when you've got a color mix. This is all, um, oh, what do you call it? Analogous? Analogous? It's a bunch of stuff that's next to each other on the color wheel. Well, this red doesn't go. I don't know how that got in there. Um, but purple and green and blue, a bit of pink. Um, goes really nicely. So I think I'm going to use, what am I going to use? Do I want or silver. Um, I think I'll use this for here. It's 22 gauge. It's just a smoky quartz um, brown. I'm going to pull out some wire. Um, I love imagining people cringing every time I say that. It's kind of mean to me. Um, but like an arm's length. No more, because if you use more than an arm's length, it gets awkward. Um, and I'm I'm making enough of a mess. So I'm going to somewhere, somehow, connect this. Here seems a logical place. Wrap it around a few times, and I've got it around and through. Just to secure that. And then now I'm going to start jamming beads on here. Actually, I better cut that. Jam. 
tiny beads will do, but one at a time. So throw a bead on. And now, I don't know how much of this you can see. Um, this is where the wire could get kinked as you're pulling through. So stop and give it a push to keep it from getting super duper kinked. Now I want all the beads to be on the inside. So we'll do this. Come through. See, hey, kinked. Don't get too excited. You gotta go slower. <laughs> she said to herself, a um, couple of extra loops there and some other bead. Oh yeah, the green and the purple are gonna look really nice on this little green background. This little dude. Aren't you adorable? Alright, so this is just going to be the same thing over and over again. I'm going to film it and speed it up. I know I said one at a time, but I get impatient. I kind of like the brown on here too. It's kind of neaty. It's kind of cool. Now, the more you pull this wire through and touch it, that's what work hardening is. Is as I'm doing this, this wire gets stiffer and stiffer, which can be a good thing. But it's also getting springier and a little more difficult to control. So just watch how much you're touching and pulling your hands along the wire. Like don't don't do this too much, or at least don't do it with very much force. Um, she says as she does it. <laughs> Try not to do it so much. It just it'll just make it more difficult if you do. Uh, what color do I want next? Need some purpley bits. Trying to mix it up a little bit. The shapes don't matter so much on this one. But it's nice to have a good mix of color. Oh, I don't like the pink in there. That's a light pink anyway. You can clearly do this in any shape. Um, teardrops, trees, snowflakes, angels whatever float your boat um, but it's it's just a simple simple little thing okay so I'm going to go back around this actually and just because I have extra wire, put another layer of um, loops around. A little more interest, really. A bit of texture, a bit of... Um, I keep saying contrast, but it just keeps being relevant. Um, this is not going to be quite enough to get all the way around. Probably. Well, maybe. close. You know what? There is fine. Super cute. Um, you could do all kinds of things with wire. You could crisscross. I've seen that. Um, I like this simple. I might do another layer of wire. I might even wrap the brown around the green because I like that. Um, but that's pretty cute. I think I have some more. Hang tight. As I was working on this ornament series, I learned quite a bit, especially about actually filming. My tripod situation is being improved and the next series of videos should be much better and in frame. Uh, I think I'm getting into the groove of uploading more regularly as well. So hopefully there will be many more videos to come and more quickly. Thank you for watching and as always, Stay creative.